Salaba Buana di Asili Yawema Tunatua Mizigo Yetu Hapa Buana Natunatua Kwangu Bakwako Tuna Uzima Tuna Pura Hadaima You are the risen King You have won the victory In you my Father Lord We have victory We bless you Lord God Even death could not hold you captive you are Lord. Nothing could hold you captive, even there. And so, Lord God, we are here to magnify your name. We are here to bless and glorify your name. We are here to declare praises unto your name. Oh, yes, Lord. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it, Lord. The victory, Jesus. Victory belongs to you. Victory belongs to you. My soul magnifies you, Lord, and my spirit praises your name. For even death could not hold you captive, even in the grave. You are Lord, even in the grave. You are Lord. Say with me, my soul, my soul. Magnifies you, Lord, and my spirit praises your name. Even death, even death, could not hold you captive, even in the grave. You are Lord. Lord, my soul magnifies you, Lord, and my spirit, and my spirit praises your name, even death, even death could not hold you, God, even in the grave.
my soul magnifies you and my spirit praises your name even death could not hold you captive even in the grave you May your soul magnify the Lord today. Let your spirit praise, praise the name of the Lord. Jesus, oh, even in the grave, we declare, we declare, even in the grave, even in the grave, you are Lord. Yes, Jesus, you are. Yes, Jesus, you are. Even in the grave, even in the grave. Yes, Lord, we declare that even in the grave you are Lord. You have won the victory. Death could not hold you down. That is why we are here to bless your name. Oh, we're here to sing hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Yes, Lord, we declare you have won it for me. Oh, let us all say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Again, say hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, you have won. Jesus, you are the reason. 
risen King. You are the risen King. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. You have won the victory. Say hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won it all for me. It all for me. And then, for you. to the name of the Lord. He is the risen King. He has won the victory. Oh, hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. You are the risen king. Oh, you are the risen king. Nasa saume inuli wabwana. Umetukuka sana. Oh, we lift your name on high. We magnify your name, Jesus. Somebody bless the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. He has won it all for us. He has won it all for me and you. That we may conquer whatever may rise against us today. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, say hallelujah.
lift your name on high, Jesus. We lift your name on high. Nani kama wewe Tuakuinua mungu wetu leo Nani kama wewe Tuakupenda Nani kama wewe Tuakuinua mungu wetu leo Nani kama wewe Tuakupenda Sema nani Nani kama wewe Tuakuinua mungu wetu leo Nani kama wewe Tuakupenda Ni nani Nani kama wewe Tuakuinua mungu wetu leo Nani kama wewe Tuakupenda Nani Nani kama wewe Bwana mahali ulipo hata kama uko nyumbani Inua tu Bwana wakati huu mfupi mwambie Bwana ni nani kama wewe Mwabudu Bwana pamoja nasi wherever you are just bless the Lord magnify his name Wacha tu mwabudu Bwana pamoja mwambie Bwana ni nani mwingine kama wewe ambaye aliweza kujitoa katufilia Nani mwingine angeweza kujitoa kwa ajili yetu? Bwana ni nani kama wewe? Nani kama wewe? Ni nani nani kama wewe? Shina vita Nani kama we Kama we Semana ni ka 
Kama wewe Bwana Hakuna kuna mwingine kama wewe Kama wewe Hakusema ni nani kama wewe Yesu we Hakuna mwingine kama wewe Bwana Guni hakuna hakuna wengine kama wewe hakuna duniani kote tumetafuta hakuna hakuna wengine kama wewe we bwana hakuna Mungu alehema na upendo kama wewe Sifa, pokea sifa na heshima Pokea sifa, sifa pokea sifa na heshima Bwana pokea sifa, pokea sifa na heshima Pokea sifa, pokea sifa na heshima Oh, pokea sifa ulia tupenda Pokea sifa na heshima Pokea sifa Pokea sifa na heshima Bwana pokea sifa zote Pokea sifa na heshima Pokea sifa Sifa Pokea sifa na heshima Bwana pokea sifa zote Pokea sifa na heshima Pokea sifa Pokea sifa na heshima We worship you Jesus We worship you Lord Bwana sifiwe Pigia bwana shangwe na vigere gere He's alive Bwana sifiwe No agapi wana jua that our God Jesus is alive today And we have every reason to celebrate him today Because he's alive Are you ready to praise God? Give a Shangilia bwana kwa shangwe na vigelegele tunaenda kumsifu bwana Moyo wangu sifu bwana sifu bwana siku zote siku zote Oh haleluya haleluya Oh imba 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 Oh anaweza anaweza tumshangilie tumshangilie
Tumetukuka sana. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you, worship team. Amen. You can take your seat. If you are somewhere, you are dancing for the Lord. You can take your seat. You can have your Bible. You can have your notebook as we get into the sermon of this lunch hour meeting this Easter Monday. To make one um, Easter experience from Friday, lunch hour, then mini Kesha, Jana, Sunday, and then today. Na ninaamini ya kwamba mungu atatubaliki siku ya leo. Na ningependa kushukuru kwa sababu ya mungu kutupatia nafasi. Pia katika wakati wa Easter, tuliweza ku feed about 1,500 families. And we appreciate your support. Tuliweza kupatia na chakura mpaka watu wengine wakasema. Apostle wamepewa pesa na serikali. But we thank God kwa sababu tuko na serikali kubwa ya binguni ambayo inasimama na kazi ambayo tunayo ifanya. And we give God all the glory. Mungu atendea kutusaidia kusimama na watu walio na mahitaji, especially the area of food, uh, because the Bible says the house of God should have food. Na kwa hivyo tutaendelea kuona ya kwamba we are able to do that for the glory of God, even as the Lord continue to provide for us. Siku ya leo, uh, tunapomalizia Easter experience, hatuwezi kumalizia uh, this Easter experience bila kuongea juu ya le selection power. Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo nataka kuongea juu ya le selection power, and I believe that this word will be a reality in your life and you are going to experience the resurrection power from wherever you are. I want to thank God kwa wale wanao tusikiza kwa MBCI radio, MBCI TV. Nimeona wengi wako katika online platforms, hata katika mataifa mengi. Wherever you are, God bless you. May the presence of God be manifested. May the resurrection power be your portion because that is the word of God. Nikependa kusema hivi kwa mambo yale yote Yesu alio yafanya ama yalifanyika kwa maisha yake lile ambalo ni speciali sana ni kufufuka. Kwa sababu kama alizaliwa hata mimi na wewe tulizaliwa. Kama aliishi hata mimi na wewe tuliishi hata kama aliishi maisha ambayo ni special na alifanya mambo ambayo sio ya kawaida lakini pia kuna watu Mungu amewatumia kwa njia tofauti wengine manabii ambao walitembea na Mungu hata katika siku za zamani na wakatumika kwa ishara tofauti na kama alikufa kifo uh, ndio hatima ya kila mwanadamu the bible says uh, it is appointed for a man to die once and after death judgment. Lakini tofauti ile kubwa sana ya Yesu na manabii wengine wote na dini zingine na wale wana manabii wanaofuatwa na dini zingine tofauti ya Yesu na wao ni ya kwamba alikufa na akafufuka. Na ningependa kusema hivi kama kuna kitu watu wanaogopa katika maisha haya wakubwa na wadogo the greatest fear we have under the sun is a fear of death watu wanaogopa kifo sana na Yesu Kristo mwenyewe hakuogopa kifo na sio tu hivyo yeye from the word go alikuwa na uhakika ya kwamba atakufa na atafufuka. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba kufufuka kwake haikuwa bahati. Alikuwa na uhakika if you read the book of Matthew chapter 16 and verse 21 he was clearly telling his disciples that he will die. 16 Matthew from verse 21 the Bible says from that time on, Jesus began to explain 
to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, chief priests, and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be laced to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said. They shall never happen to you. Huyo ni Peter. Anamwambia wewe Yesu. Bona unaongea mambo ya kuteswa. Na mambo ya kufa. Sisi ya tutaki. Jambo kama hili rifanyike kwako. Kwa sababu uoga ule hata sisi tukonao. Ni uoga wa kifo. Na sisi tumeona manabi wakubwa walio zaliwa. Wakaishi wakafanya mambo makubwa. Lakini walipo kufa. Hakuna moja wao ambaye amesha wai kurudi. Bona we unataka kusema ya kwamba utakufa. Na siku ya tatu utarudi. Hakika ukiangalia tavire yesu alivyo kufa. Wanafunzi wake hawakuwa na uhakika ya kwamba atafufuka tena. Yesu mwenyewe akasema katika kitabu cha Yohana kumi mstari wa kumi na nane. Nataka ni kwenyeshe ya kwamba yesu alikuwa na uhakika wa kufa kwake na kufufuka kwake. John chapter 10 and verse 18 the bible says uh, let me read 10 from 17 the reason my father loves me is that i lay down my life only to take it again no one takes it from me but i lay it down of my own accord i have authority to lay it down an authority to take it up again. This command, I received it from, the, from my father. Yesu mwenyewe anasema, Baba ananipenda. Ni kwa sababu mimi nakubali kuweka maisha yangu chini. Huh? I lay down my life only to take it up again. Na anasema, no one takes it from me. Hakuna mtu anachukua maisha yangu kutoka kwangu. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba wale walio muua Yesu msarabani sio wao walio muua. No one could take the life of Jesus from him. He said beforehand that it is I willingly lay my life down and then I'll take it back again. Hangeweza kuwa na ujasiri kama hangejua ya kwamba he has the power to conquer death. The most feared thing in this world is death. But our master and our savior has the power to conquer death. And that is why he is alive and he is seated at the right hand of the father. Kwa hivyo anasema ya kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye Yesu sio kuwawa aliuawa ni yeye alitoa maisha yake. Oh my God, I take it again. Verse 18, John 10, 18. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. That authority to take it up again is authority and power over death. Alikuwa na maanisha, mimi niko na nguvu na niko na mamraka juu ya kifo. Na mimi nitaweka maisha yangu chini kwa kujitolea. Na nitafanya hivo kwa siku tatu peke yake. Baada ya siku tatu. I am going to take my life up again. Nataka ni kuambie mpendwa maali ulipo. Our God has power over death. Na nigetaka ni kuambie. Unajua mimi zamani kabra sija okoka. Ni kuwana muambia mungu mimi nataka ni kikufa ni kufe. Mimi nataka staki kuenda binguni, staki kuenda kuzimu. Lakini nigetaka ni kuambia kwamba. Wapendwa resurrection is real. 
na hata watu wale wanafikiria wanaishi tu maisha haya alafu wafe watashangaa wakati watakapofufuka na wengine wao wafufuke katika aibu kwa sababu ya vile walivyoishi maisha haya and that is why yesterday I shared a message the Lord gave me concerning the wisdom of how to live this life because the way you live this life will determine how you resurrect and that is why even in the bible tuko na watu waliokuwa na revelation ya resurrection if you read the book of hebrews chapter 11 and verse 35 kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanasema mimi natamani ufufuo ulio bora the bible says Hebrews 11:35 women received back their dead wanawake wakapata wafu wao wakafufuliwa tena raised to life again others were tortured and refused to be released so that they might gain a better resurrection yani bible inasema kuna watu wakiamini wafu wao watafufuka dio wanafufuliwa lakini wengine walikuwa wanateseka na wanasema mimi sitaki niachiriwe kutoka kwa haya mateso kwa sababu kile ninachotaka sana sio maisha haya ya muda nataka ufufuo ulio bora unajua inashangaza kwa sababu watu wengi kanisani siku ya leo they don't care so much about the life to come so many believers are concerned about this life and what they can receive in this life in fact kuna watu ambao kama kungekuwa na fomu ya kusign ya kwamba mimi nataka nikienda mbinguni zile vitu Mungu ananiwekea huko sitaki aniwekea huko mimi na sign form ziletwe hapa duniani ni enjoy maisha kuna watu wange sign form waseme niletewe kila kitu hapa duniani ni enjoy maisha kwa sababu ule uhakika wa ufufuo haujaweza kuingia ndani ya mioyo yao lakini bibi nasema kuna watu walikuwa na huo ufunuo na wakasema ndio mimi nateseka lakini siniteseke ndio taji yangu irebeke ndio ufufuo wangu mimi nitakuwa mtu ambaye nitakuwa na ngaa kama nyota taji yangu itakuwa nzuri na nitakaa mahali pazuri milele na milele ikiwezekana hata niwe na cheo kwa sababu Daudi alisema mimi sijali hata kama nikiingia niwe watchman kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba hata tukifika binguni hatutakuwa sisi wote kiwango kimoja wana wa Zebedayo walikuwa nasema tungetaka mmoja wetu akae kulia na kushoto lakini Yesu akawaambia hizi viti kuna wale baba amewachagua kutoka mwanzo kumaanisha ya kwamba hata tukifika binguni sisi wote hatutakuwa kiwango kimoja kuna watu watakaa viti watakaa mahali pa heshima watakuwa na cheo binguni ndio tunajua binguni hatutatumia nafasi zetu vibaya lakini kuna watu ambao tutakapofika binguni watakuwa na nafasi bora kuliko wale wengine kwa sababu ya vile walivyo ishi haya maisha ndipo sasa tunaona ya kwamba wanafunzi wote wa Yesu ukisoma historia wote walikufa vifo vya uchungu na hawakuogopa they were ready and more than ready to die in fact mtu kama petero wakisema tunataka tukusurubishe kama huyu mwokozi wako unayemwamini wanasema yeye ni mwokozi wangu sitaki nifanane na yeye kama mtanisurubisha afadhali munisurubishe upside down hawakuwa wanaogopa na shukuru kuna wengine kama Paul ambao alikuwa anasema ya kwamba natamani ya kwamba ningekufa lakini wacha niishi ili nikaweze kuatia na kulitia moyo kanisa la Bwana je siku ya leo tuko na watu ambao wameishi maisha haya kwa njia iliyo safi na dhamiri iliyo safi ya kwamba hawana shida na kifo 
hawana shida na kukutana bwana wao wameinvesta katika ufalme wa bwana wanangojea taji wanangojea dhawabu hawaogopi maisha wanayokuja kuishi baada ya mwili huu kama ungekuwa unaishi na kuru miaka mia moja. na baadaye uambiwe utahamia uta mahali kama pengine uh, South Africa utaishi kule miaka elfu moja. ni wapi utajenga nyumba ya maana ni wapi utaweka utajiri mwingi utaweka utajiri wako mahali unajua nitaishi miaka mingi hapa nitafanya kazi kule nitakapoenda kuishi miaka mingi nitapeleka utajiri wangu kule na Yesu akasema weka utajiri wako mahali ambapo hakuna kitu wezi hawawezi kuiba Hakuna uharibifu unaweza kuharibu hazina yako mahali pale wapendwa lazima Mungu ainue watu katika kizazi chetu ambao hawaangalii tu thawabu ya maisha haya lakini wanatazamia thawabu ya maisha ya milele na milele Hebrews 11:35 Unajua Hebrews 11 inaongea juu ya mashujaa wa imani lakini nasema kuna watu wakati wengine walikuwa napokea miujiza mikubwa wafu wao wanafufuliwa wengine walikuwa wanateswa na wanasema mimi sitaki kuachiliwa katika hii mateso niteswe kwa sababu ya jina la Bwana ili nipate ufufuo ulio bora soma juu ya wanafunzi wa Yesu mimi nasema ya kwamba hata wakati walikuwa wanateswa walikuwa wanasema ya kwamba they were happy because they suffered disgrace because of the name of the Lord wakiteswa kwa sababu ya Bwana wanafurahia kwa sababu wanajua thawabu yao ni kubwa anyway nataka kuangalia kidogo juu ya resurrection power na ni kwa sababu tumeona ya kwamba the greatest fear in this life is a fear of death lakini wale tulio katika Bwana tunafaa kuwa na uhakika ya kwamba hata tukifa tutaishi tena. Being absent from this body means that I'm going to be present in the presence of the Lord. And so there is no fear of death. In fact, Mungu akona haja na maisha yako ya milele yawe mema na uingie pale kuliko vile anavyoangalia maisha haya. That is why sisi hata tunapoangalia mateso ya maisha haya Mungu anapoyaangalia anasema haya ni ya muda tu. Jana tulikuwa tunatazama mwimbaji mmoja ambaye alitoa nyimbo za ufunuo. Nyimbo ambazo hata ukisikiza siku ya leo unaguzwa. Nikiona angalia wimbo mmoja wake umetazamwa na watu zaidi ya milioni tatu. Lakini aliweza kufa na ugonjwa. Na watu wengi wanaweza kujiuliza, bona mtu kama huyu awe na kipawa kikubwa, awe na ugonjwa, baadaye afe. Bona Mungu hakumponya. Ni kwa sababu Biblia pia inasema ya kwamba Mungu anafurahishwa na kifo cha watakatifu wake. Mungu hana shida na kifo kama vile sisi wenyewe tulivyo na shida na kifo. Shida ya Mungu kubwa sana ni ukifa utaenda wapi ndipo sasa Mungu anasema hapendezwi na kifo cha mwenye dhambi na wapendo wa maisha haya mahali yamefika hatufai kuishi na uoga i should not live with the fear of death in me kama mwana wa Mungu sifai niishi na uoga wa kifo katika maisha yangu in fact i died so many years ago When I received Christ in my life it is not I who lives but him that lives in me so the life that I live is not mine the life that I have today is not my life I surrendered my life to him and if I live I continue serving him with my last breath if I die I pray 
that I will live with him forever and ever. When you fear something, it will come to torment you. That is why unaona ya kwamba shida tuliona nayo siku ya leo sio hata coronavirus watu wale wagonjwa ni wachache sana. Lakini ule uoga watu wako nao sphere is spreading faster than the virus. And so many people are full of fear. So many people are becoming hopeless. Ha? Kwa sababu wanapoona mambo yale yanayofanyika wanaona ni kana kwamba hakuna tumaini. Mtumikie Mungu wako with your last breath. Na uambie kifo kama Yesu. Hata wakati Petro alikuwa anamwambia wewe Yesu acha kusema ya kwamba utakufa. Yesu akasema hakuna mtu anaweza kuchukua maisha yangu. Mimi naweka maisha yangu chini at my own will. And then after three days I'll take back my life. Oh my God. Yesu alikuwa na uhakika wa nguvu za ufufuo. Na hizo ndiyo zo nguvu ambazo ningetaka kukuzungumzia kwa dakika chache. Kwa sababu Biblia inatuambia in the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, Biblia inatuambia kwamba sisi ni walithi wa nguvu hizo ambazo zilizo mfufua Yesu kutoka kabulini. That same power, the same power that resurrected Jesus from the dead. I'm reading from verse 18. I pray also Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you. The riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is like the working of his mighty strength which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly realms far above all rule and authority power dominion and every title that can be given not only in the present age but in the one to come Paul anasema ya kwamba macho yenu ya ndani yakaweze kutiwa nuru ili mkaweze kujua ulithi mlio nao katika utakatifu na huo ulithi ni nguvu zake ambazo hazina kipimo ha? and his incomparable power for us who believe ha? That power is like the working of his mighty strength which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead. Yaani nguvu hizo ni hizo nguvu ambazo aliachilia ndani ya Kristo Yesu. If you read in Romans chapter 8 uh, and verse 11, utaona ya kwamba yule roho anaishi ndani yetu ndio huyo roho pia aliyemfufua Yesu Romans 8:11 The Bible says and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you so the bible says and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is the same spirit that lives in every believer and that is why it is important for every believer to receive the power of the holy spirit praise the name of the living god hallelujah if you desire to experience resurrection You need to receive the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. And the Bible says that this is part of the inheritance of the saints. This power is your portion, is part of that which you are supposed to inherit. What do I want to say? 
resurrection power should begin working in my life now. Eternity begins now. The spirit that will raise me up in the last day, that spirit is within me even now. And when that spirit, that's, that resurrection power is in my life, it helps me to release the life of God in every circumstance that I may be going through as a believer. Ninasoma wakati kulikuwa na ubishi katikati ya Aaron kama kuani ambaye alikuwa amechaguliwa na Mungu na Mungu akasema kamwambia Musa kata vijiti kumi na viwili in the book of Leviticus na hizi vijiti nataka kile cha Aaron kiandikwe rawi Levi na hizi vijiti zote ziwekwe mahali huwa tunakutana na wewe katika uwepo wangu na Mungu akamwambia Musa hizo vijiti zilale pale The Bible says in the morning kile kijiti cha Musa and these were dry sticks kile kijiti cha Musa kilikuwa cha rawi kinasimamia Aaron kilikuwa kimetoa matawi na kilikuwa kimetoa matunda usiku moja kwa sababu gani ya uhai wa Mungu nguvu za Mungu zinazoweza kufufua kile ambacho kimekufa hopelessness is not your portion as a believer you should refuse to be hopeless because the resurrection power the same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead the same spirit lives in you in the mighty name of Jesus a good example also that we can see in the bible is in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and uh, this is in the valley of the dry bones and when we read uh, Ezekiel chapter 37 the valley of the dry bones uh, you can see the power of the resurrection at work the bible says in Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 the hand of the lord was upon me and he brought me out by the spirit of the lord and set me in the middle of a valley it was full of bones he led me back and forth among them and i saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley bones that were very dry that means they were not fresh bones they were bones that were very dry they did not have any life in them mifupa haikuwa na uhai wowote verse 3 he asked me son of man can these bone leaves these are dead bones they are dry they are disintegrated mifupa ambayo hata imewachana na kama mifupa imekauka hakuna nyama hakuna mishipa hakuna damu i said sovereign lord you alone know ezekiel hakuwa anataka kusema mimi naona kama hili jambo ni ngumu kamwambia wewe bwana ndio unajua you are the god of all flesh there is nothing that is too hard for me for you then he said to me prophesy to these bones and say to them dry bones hear the word of the lord this is what the sovereign lord says to these bones i will make breath mm-hmm. or life or the spirit aha uh-huh. This is what the sovereign law says I will make, make breath enter you and you will come to life I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin I will put breath in you and you will come to life then you will know that I am the Lord So I prophesied as I was commanded As I was prophesying there was a noise a rattling sound and the bones came together bone to bone Ningependa kurisoma mstari wa 11 then he said to me son of man 
These bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, O my people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. Uh, Ningependa ku summarize ujumbe hu kwa kusema ya kwamba Ezekiel was a prophet in exile. Na wana wa Israeli walika in exile ama mateka miaka sabini. Na wakati walienda pale mwanzo mwanzo after the prophecies made by Jeremiah walienda pale na hawakufungua mizigo yao. Walikuwa naona hali yetu itabadilika haraka. Walikuwa naona Mungu hata tuachilia tuwe mikononi mwa adui zetu kwa muda mrefu. We are going to come out of captivity. Lakini Mungu akamtuma Jeremiah akamwambia waambie ya kwamba wanunue mashamba wajenge nyumba wakubali kuo ku, watoto wao waoe na waolewe pale na waombe muji ambao ni mwapeleka mateka uwe na amani na ufanikiwe kwa sababu watakaa kwa kipindi ambacho nilikuwa nimetangaza kupitia manabii wangu kwa hivyo walipokaa miaka mingi na miaka sabini sasa inaelekea kuisha walikuwa wanakaa Mungu akiwaangalia alikuwa anaona hawa ni watu ambao wanakaa mifupa mikavu they are they are hope of going back to their land was gone hawakuwa wanaona ya kwamba kama inawezekana tena warudi katika nchi yao na wakaweze kufukua na uhuru watoke in exile lakini Mungu akasema Ezekiel tabiria hawa watu wanakaa kama mifupa mikavu so in reality these bones are, were not dead people physically but they were dead people spiritually that tells you they are walking dead they are people who walk in the streets but in reality they are dead or their hope is gone yani ni watu tu wanatembea hawana tumaini hawaoni kesho yao kama itakuwa bora and let me tell you today we have so many of our people who are walking dead they are hopeless hata saa hizi they are believers vile saa hizi hatuendi makanisani hatuna uhuru wa kuabudu vile tulikuwa tunaabudu wanaona ya kwamba dunia inaisha wanaona ya kwamba sijui kama kuna siku nitajiona vile worship team wanaimba nikiwa kwa ibada hawaoni kama itawezekana na ninajua hii inaweza kuchukua wiki chache ambazo zinazokuja na hali kama hii inaweza kufanya watu ambao hawajui nguvu za ufufuo wakaanza kuona ni kana kwamba haitawezekana kanisa kurudi tena kanisa kuinuka tena uchumi kuinuka tena wengine Mungu alisema they are going to be financiers katika revival inayokuja sasa biashara zao zimepigwa na hali ambayo tunayoipitia na wanaona ni kana kwamba ahadi ya Bwana haitawahi kutimia Kumbuka hata kama wana wa Israeli walienda into exile Jeremiah 29:11 Mungu alikuwa amewaambia I know the plans I have for you they are not for evil they are for good to give you a hope and a future the plans that God is having for his people the plans that God is having for his church they are not for evil haijarishi kama hii hali imekuwa kwa muda na inaweza endelea kitambo kidogo hey i know my god and them that shall know they are god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits 
The Bible tells me in the book of Romans, chapter 4, and verse 17. And this is why Abraham considered the facts, but he did not give up. Huh? The Bible says, Romans 4, 17, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom uh, he believed. The God who gives uh, life to the dead and calls things uh, that are not uh, as though they were. Mungu anapatiana wale waimekufa anawapa uhai. Na anaita vitu ambavyo havimo ni kana kwamba viko. He calls things that are not as though they were. Did you know that the language of God is not a negative language? The language of God is not a language of hopelessness. Mungu hata anasema ya kwamba, let the poor say, I am rich. Because the language of God is a positive language. Because you create what you speak. You see more of what you speak. And so, if you desire to see a change in your situation, you must change the way you speak. Because the more you speak of a negative situation, the more it continues to become more negative. It becomes, it moves from bad to worse. Mungu huwa nasema, wacha walio wagonjwa. Let the sick say, I am healed. The language of God is a positive language. Na mungu huwa anafanya hivyo ni kwa sababu, he calls things which are not as if they were. He gives life even to the dead. Na kwa hivyo mungu wa reafford kusema, Abraham, you are a father of many nations. I change your name to Abraham. Although you don't have a child, but I want to call things which are not as if, as, as, as though they were. kusema ya kwamba, when we walk in the resurrection power, we are able to charge our atmosphere with that power. The same way God called Ezekiel to prophesy and to charge the atmosphere with the resurrection power, God is calling every believer to release the resurrection power. To charge the atmosphere with the resurrection power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Two cannot work together unless they agree. You must know how to speak the language of your kingdom. The language of your kingdom is calling things which are not as though they were. Hata kama hali yako ni mbaya. Hata kama wakati mungine tunuona mambo ya mebadilika to the negative Lakini nazima tutabirie mifupa mikavu. Na wewe unabeba gubu za ufufuo. Wewe unaweza kutabiria hali yako na ikabadirika. Na kwa hivyo ni nakuita siku ya leo. As we come to the end of this Easter experience, I decree and declare you are a kalia of the resurrection power. Because the same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead, that same spirit is living in you. It is part of the inheritance of every one who believes in Christ. And as a carrier of the resurrection power, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to speak that power into manifestation. So that our situations will come back to life. Mungu alisema katika kitabu hiki cha Ezekiel 37. Excuse me. 37 from verse 12. Therefore prophesy to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, O my people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Remember, mungu wanaongia kwa mifano, na anasema, vile mina waangalia, naona nyinyi ni watu mmekufa. Nyinyi ni watu, tumainirenu, mumelizika katika kaburi ya sahau. 
hamuoni kama mambo yale niliwaahidia yanawezekana wapendwa mimi nitaendelea kusimama na ahadi ya Mungu juu ya maisha yangu nitaendelea kusimama na ahadi ya Mungu juu ya taifa langu na nitaendelea kumwamini Mungu ya kwamba mimi ni wakizazi ambacho kitaona uvuvio mkubwa kitaona matendo makubwa ya nguvu za Mungu sasa Mungu anasema naja na nguvu zangu za ufufuo nitafufua nitafungua I'll open up your graves nitafungua makaburi yenu ni nini hiyo umezika katika kaburi ya sahau umeanza kusema sioni kama itawezekana nini hiyo ambao unasema sasa hii wacha nitupilie mbali niko na neno kwa ajili yako Mungu anakuja kufungua kaburi yako neno ambalo alilokupatia bado litatimia Paul alimwambia Timotheo chapter 1 verse 18 that the prophecies made concerning you is so that by them you may be able to wage warfare hata kama Mungu amekupatia neno la kinabii ya vile ambavyo angetaka kufanya na maisha yako lile neno halitakuja tu kutimia peke yake litatimia kwa sababu na wewe unalisimamia na unalipigania lakini ukikata tamaa na uanze kusema sioni kama itawahi wezekana naona kama kanisa sasa litakwisha kanisa haliwezi kwisha kwa sababu hata wakati yatuji kanisani mwenye kanisa bado analijenga na alisema in Matthew 16 verse 18 I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail it doesn't matter the orchestrations of the enemy the machinations of hell the forces of antichrist and the new world order Jesus said I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail kitabu cha Wathesaloniki kinasema ya kwamba mpinga Kristo hawezi kuwa manifested paka yule anayemzuilia aondoke nani anamzuilia kanisa na roho mtakatifu paka rapture ya kanisa iweze kufanyika kuna mipango ya kishetani haiwezi kufanyika katika dunia hii kwa sababu nguvu za roho mtakatifu nguvu za ufufuo hizo zitaendelea kuzuilia kifo na mipango ya kuzimu because the devil comes to steal to kill and to destroy and so i cancel every demonic agenda over kenya over africa in the mighty name of jesus every demonic proclamation over africa over kenya i cancel by the blood of jesus and i declare africa will rise up in the power of resurrection kenya is a springboard of revival wherever you are you are a carrier of the resurrection power of our lord jesus christ na kwa sababu unabeba hizo nguvu hata kama unaona mifupa mikavu hata kama umezungukwa na kifo tangaza ya kwamba nguvu za yule aliye mfufua Yesu kutoka kaburini hizo nguvu zinakaa ndani yangu kila baganda rababosha nimesoma juu ya mtu mmoja ambaye anaitwa John G. Lake na John G. Lake alikuwa ametoka kule upande wa Marekani na wakati yule akaenda kule South Africa and there was a prayer ambao watu wengi walikuwa wanakufa hata ilikuwa ina affect madaktari lazima wangevaa mavazi kama vile watu wanafaa wakati wa coronavirus lakini John Jire kwa sababu ya nguvu za Mungu akawa anasaidia watu wale walikuwa na shida na wale walikuwa nakufa na madaktari wakamuuliza kwa nini wewe hauogopi lakini akawaambia mimi niko na uhai wa Mungu ndani yangu na kwa hivyo hii hii virus hizi bacteria haziwezi kunidhuru mimi na akawa anachukua pofu ile ya mtu ambaye hata amekufa inaekelewa mikononi mwake na madaktari wanapima wakiangalia wanaona ikiguza mkono wake zile viini zinaanza kufa mikononi mwake virus hazingeweza kuishi 
zikiguza mikono yake na kutangazia tunapomaliza this Easter experience declare that the resurrection power the same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead that spirit is my portion that spirit is living in me in the mighty name of Jesus you are a giver of life you are supposed to release the resurrection power in every hopeless situation in your life, in your surrounding, in your city, in your nation, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so I declare in Akuru, we shall live, we shall not die, we shall live and declare the praises of the Most High God. I send resurrection power in our nation nation Kenya in the mighty name of Jesus I defeat the spirit of death in the mighty name of Jesus I defeat every spirit of hopelessness people who are walking but they have died in the inside I declare you shall live and declare the praises of the most high God miaka sijui miezi miaka kadhaa ambayo imekwisha juzi juzi utafiti ulikuwa unasema ya kwamba Kenyans are the most optimistic people ha? lakini sasa kwa sababu ya mambo mengi ambayo tunayoyapitia watu wameanza kuingiwa na hali ya kukosa matumaini nimekuja kusema ya kwamba we shall face tomorrow because uh, our redeemer lives uh, in the mighty name of Jesus and so why as i come to the end i want to declare like ezekiel i speak to all the dry bones even those who are infected and they are in hospitals lord i send the life of god in the mighty name of jesus to every man to every woman to every child in the mighty name of jesus who is suffering from this virus i send the life of god in the mighty name of jesus peria baganda bashata peria baganda i charge the atmosphere with the rest action power of our Lord Jesus Christ and I defeat the spirit of death that is hovering around in the mighty name of Jesus I declare you are not going to destroy you are not going to kill in the mighty name of Jesus I send the resurrection power in every county in every corner of this nation in every nation where people are watching be connected with the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ the same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead receive that spirit hey be filled with the power of the holy spirit this is a time that you need to wake up every morning and when you wake up you speak in tongues for one hour you charge yourself with the resurrection power you are activate the life of God that is in you in the mighty name of Jesus so that you may deactivate every other spirit every other power of death in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I give you glory as I come to the end of this sermon Father I declare and declare that the resurrection power is going to be activated more than ever before in the life of every believer in the mighty name of Jesus may every believer oh god understand may you open the eyes of the understanding of every believer to know that you have called us my god to be carriers of the same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead in the mighty name of Jesus and so i release divine activation of the spirit of god in you in the mighty name of Jesus remain connected in the mighty name of Jesus 
death has no power over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you serve God's purpose for your life, God is going to give unto you your full life span. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are not going to die because of a prayer, because of a pandemic. You are going to die because you have finished your assignment. The Bible says that when David has finished, has fulfilled God's purpose for his life, he rested. There were enemies who were seeking to destroy him, but they were not able to destroy him before his time. Jesus said, there is no one who can take my life. It is only me who can willingly lay my life down and then I'll take it back. No one can kill me. Jesus said, death has no power over me. It is me who lay my life because of my brothers. Oh my God, that I may bring salvation to mankind and then I take back my life. I want to decree and declare that the resurrection power is being activated in the atmosphere, in the mighty name of Jesus, of our city, of our nation, of the nations of the earth. I decree and declare to every believer, continue releasing the life of God in the mighty name of Jesus, declaring we shall not die, but we shall live. We defeat every demonic agenda. We defeat the spirit of death by the resurrection power in the mighty name of Jesus. We defeat this pandemic in the mighty name of Jesus. We defeat the spread of this pandemic in the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel every demonic agenda through this pandemic in the mighty name of Jesus. May God arise and cause his enemies to be scattered. The enemies of the will of God. The enemies of the purposes of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I stop every demonic agenda. I stop uh, the spirit of Antichrist uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the church uh, is still in operation uh, here on earth. Uh, and so I declare the spirit of Antichrist uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, will not be able to manifest fully in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I deny you the power in the mighty name of Jesus uh, through the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Shaka Baganda, Africa shall rise up uh, with the power of revival in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Kenya is a springboard of revival. Shatarabaganda, Shatarabaganda, prophesy like Ezekiel to the dry bones, to the hopelessness in our lives, in the lives of our people. Declare no more hopelessness in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak resurrection power to your business, to your ministry, to your to you according uh, to your gift uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Who see mwisho wako? Who ni mwanzo? Get ready because your best uh, is yet uh, to come uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, my best days, uh, my best days uh, in my calling, uh, in my ministry, they are ahead of me. Kela baganda baboshe. Kela baganda rababuria. Shaka baganda rima moze. Release prophesy to the dry bones, uh, prophesy to the economy, prophesy to the businesses, uh, prophesy to the marketplaces, uh, prophesy to the transport industry. The transport industry will not crumble, will not crumble in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, prophesy to the companies, uh, Shaka Baganda, Shaka Baganda Rima, Shaka Baganda Rima, the companies uh, are coming back. Uh, we are not going to see the collapse uh, of our economy. Shaka Baganda, Shaka Baganda, Shaka Baganda, Shaka Baganda, Shaka Baganda, Shaka Baganda, Watafiti wa mesema yao. Lakini, I shall believe uh, the report 
shout of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll be tuned to the report in the mighty name of Jesus of the Lord. Shatarabaganda. 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 I release the resurrection power. The resurrection power to your marriage, to your business, to your career, to your ministry, to your gift, to your calling. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the resurrection power. I open every grave. In the mighty name of Jesus, the grave of your dreams, the grave of your aspirations in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am opening every grave. In the year 2020, I break every limitation. In the mighty name of Jesus, Peria Baganda, Peria Baganda, Peria Baganda, Peria Baganda, Peria Baganda, Passover, Shataramaganda, Weweroya Kifo, Passover, Shataramaganda, Shatarabaganda, the blood is upon us, the blood that speaketh better things, Shatarabaganda, Shatarabaganda, Shataramaganda, Shatarabaganda. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is upon my life, is upon my family, is upon my city, is upon my nation, is upon the nations. Our God arise, Shataramaganda, you are a God of second chance, give us another chance, Shataramaganda, give Germany, give Spain, oh Shataramaganda, give America, Shataramaganda. Maganda, another chance. Give China, Shatara Maganda, a second chance. Reka Maganda, Reka Maganda, Shatara 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 Maganda. The church will not die. The church is coming back with more power. The church is coming back. Shatara Maganda. More stronger in the mighty name of Jesus. Shataramaganda, enlarge the cords of your tent. Panua Hemayako, Panua Kanisarako, Panua Maono Yako, Shatarabaganda, Shatarabaganda, Shatarabaganda. Because we serve a mighty God, we serve a mighty King. I connect you, I connect your business, I connect your ministry, your Kalia. I connect your gift with the resurrection power in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy to the dry bones of our industries, of our economy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sector of our economy, I prophesy the life of God is flowing in this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, the life of God is flowing in the church. I silence demonic altars, altars of death, altars of destruction. I silence your power. Shatarabaganda, Shatarabaganda, Shatarabaganda. You are time to take over. It's not theater. Shatarabaganda. This is a time for the manifestation of the sons of God. Shatarabaganda. Men and women who are going to carry the resurrection power and they are going to go in the nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus manifesting the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ through the Spirit of God. Shatarabaganda. Shatarabaganda. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you honor. I magnify your holy name. For there is no one else like you. Rekabaganda Rababushata. The fear of death is not your portion. Shakarabaganda. Death has no power. Shatarabaganda. Unless it is given power. Shatarabaganda Rima. Don't empower death. Shatarabaganda Rima. Rekabaganda Rababushana. Jesus said, No one can take my life. Shatarabaganda Rima. Shatarabaganda May you live your full life span in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive healing from every condition. Receive healing. Those who are watching in the mighty name of Jesus. Sickness is a portion of death in your life. I command that sickness in the mighty name of Jesus 
to be removed by the life of God. I connect you with the life of God. Every organ in your body, I connect you with the life of God. The joy, the God kind of life, the life that brings back to life anything it touches in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says when he came, Jesus in him was life. And this life was the right of man. May our right shine because of the life of God that is flowing in us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As I come to the end of this uh, lunch or meeting uh, and this Easter experience, uh, if you are there and you'd like to give your life to Jesus, maybe you don't go to church, you are just a religious person, but you are saying, I desire Jesus, the career of resurrection power. Just pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, say, Mabwana Yesu, nisamedhambi na makosa yangu, ninatubu, naomba kuanzia siku ya leo, unisafishe kwa damu yako, unifanye mtoto wako, uni andike katika kitabu cha uzima, uniondoe katika kitabu cha mauti, na kupokea kuanzia siku ya leo. Amen. Pokea neema ya Bwana. Baba naombea wale wote wameomba hilo ombi. May their life receive regeneration by the Spirit of God. And I speak your miracle working power in the mighty name of Jesus to set them free and to be able, my Father, my God, to help them to connect with you and receive their inheritance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Remember, we... We are having lunch hours. Every lunch hour you can join us. Kwanzia sasaba mpaka sanane. And then on Friday, I promise to be doing a, a mini keshas from 9.30 to midnight. It will be times of prayer and intercession. We will be spending more time in prayer, just raising prayer points as the Holy Spirit leads us. And we will be interceding from your house and from your prayer, all, from, your, from your family altar. You can plan for that, the lunch or meeting, and then on Friday. God bless you. Continue declaring the life of God is in me. The resurrection power is my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you all. Shalom. The Lord be with you in Jesus' name. If you have given your life to Jesus, you can send uh, your name through our numbers. Or if you desire to give your life to Jesus, the number on the screen, you can use it to send your name and we'll be able to contact you and follow up on you so that you can be established in your salvation. Kama unanisikia kwa radio, namba ile unaweza kutumia, kutuma jina rako kama umiokoka, ni 0711-112-112. Ama 0706-262626. Tutumia jina rako, tunaweza kuwa msaada kwako, kwa maombi, na kuona ya kwamba umesimama katika wakovu. God bless you. The Lord be with you.